So ATYR 1923 is our um, therapeutic candidate that um, comes out of a, a biology platform that um, is rather novel. And that's ATYR is really a company that's not only working in rare diseases, but is also trying to take a very new and cutting edge area in biology and, and make medicines from that. Um, ATIR was founded, um, just to take a step back, by a gentleman named Paul Schimmel at the Scripps Institute. His lab has been interested in an intracellular enzyme class that we have in all of our bodies called tRNA synthetases. These enzymes are key, key enzymes to help us all make proteins. But what Dr. Schimmel discovered is uh, these enzymes, um, for some reason, break apart into fragments, migrate out of our cells, and go into the tissue matrix. And there they start to play a very, very different role in controlling immune environments. So he describes it in a rather um, intriguing medical anthropology discussion that these are the uh, immune modulators that lower level species use. Humans, we have more sophisticated interleukins and cytokines that allow us to keep immunostasis. Um, these fragments play a large role um, in, in local policing. Uh, one of these fragments we basically noticed early on uh, had some really interesting immune mediating, mediating effects in the lung. Uh, we ran a number of animal models and uh, that led us to sarcoidosis. Uh, 1923 is a therapy that takes one of these fragments and it's bound to an FC region of, a, of an IgG antibody. Uh, it is administered once a month through a one hour IV infusion. Uh, and we think it can play a really nice role here in controlling the chronic inflammation that interstitial lung disease patients have to deal with. So this is a phase 1B2A trial where we are looking at uh, not only the safety and tolerability of ATYR in 1923, uh, but we're also um, trying to see signs of disease activity, uh, of, of drug activity. Uh, how are we doing that? Uh, we are incorporating a steroid sparing design uh, in our trial, and it's one of the first approaches um, in a sarcoidosis trial uh, that the FDA has, has sort of greenlit. Um, steroid sparing approaches have been used in other respiratory diseases like asthma, for example. But in our trial, 36 um, confirmed, uh, histologically confirmed sarcoidosis patients are enrolled. Um, it's a two to one randomization uh, where 24 patients are gonna receive our treatment, either one, three, or five milligrams of our drug for six months. And the other 12 patients are gonna receive placebo. Um, a unique component on how we're trying to not, not only see that the drug is safe, but make sure that it's, it's, uh, we see some activities, we're, we're tracking uh, the steroid uh, use for all patients. Over the first eight weeks of the trial, we are asking all patients in, in enrolled to taper down, it's a forced steroid taper from their starting dose. So folks are coming in uh, at 10, 15, sometimes 25 milligrams of prednisone a day. Over the first eight weeks, everyone is tapered down to a sub-therapeutic dose of five milligrams. This effectively is making the patients unwell. And then for the following four months, we're, we're tracking uh, the steroid titration. Steroids are titrated, not sort of willy-nilly, we're using two uh, symptom indexes, the Lester cough index and the transitional dyspnea index, looking at cough and shortness of breath. Um, this will then tell us uh, what we believe is placebo patients will <clears throat> need to be titrated back up to their starting dose. Uh, we expect those patients treated with 1923 to be replaced with 1923 from whatever steroid they were on before. Uh, and maintain their quality of life. Uh, we think the, the, the additional benefit here is we're, we're, we're removing steroids, which can provide a pretty significant burden uh, on these patients. Over time, steroids come with um, toxicity that's well known. Um, Dan Culver, one of our lead PIs at the Cleveland Clinic, talks about steroids being kind of the devil's drug. You know, you're making a devil's bargain. It's gonna help you day to day with your cough and shortness of breath. Uh, but it's also going to come with a lot of day-to-day, uh, -day, month to month uh, toxicity. That it's that cumulative burden that we also think our drug basically can be beneficial uh, in the sense that it doesn't have uh, the same you know toxicity that steroids have. 